Welcome back to QFIT's View. In this video, we will demonstrate making line maps from 3D data cubes. Line maps are an image of the flux from a spectral region, which is usually an emission line, from a cube. After loading the cube, in this case, cube example 1, we can see in the spectrum an emission line. I'll just lock it and we can see this emission line here. In this case, it's the singly ionized forbidden line of iron at 1257 nanometers. This is very common astrophysical line, especially in shocked gas. I'll zoom in on the region so we can see this in greater detail. I'll just go from about 1225 nanometers up to about 1290, as you see as before we click and drag. Then you select the line map option in the drop down list at the top of the screen. And as you can see, our gray selected region is enlarged. What you then do is to select the wavelength range of the line that you want to see by pressing and holding the C key as you can see, there's this red area of the region that you want to select. Then release the C key. And as you can see, the gray area is now around the spectral line. You can then specify two continuum regions, usually left and right of the spectrum line, using the X and the V keys. These keys are together on the keyboards. So I will hold the X key over this region, and that's the left continuum region, and then hold the V key, and this is now the right continuum region. As you can see, we now show the map image flux in that spectral line. We can see that this is a bubble of gas jetting out of the nucleus. If you're interested, the galaxy is NGC 4438 in the Virgo group. As you'll also notice, the continuum regions are marked out in a darker grey colour than the spectral line region. I've mapped over the whole of the emission line, but you can also select over part of it. I'm going to resize the central region by clicking and holding the C key and then moving at just the minimum amount, which is two pixels. As you see, I've got the little red thing there. And as you can see, there's just that little small region. You can then step through the layers by using the play movie option, like this. And we can watch it stepping through the layers. Or you can do that manually by selecting the cube center here. And this shows the line of uh, the velocity channel maps. I'll just go back to the center of the line map, which I know is at about 1045. And then if you right click with the mouse, you have the option to copy image to new buffer, this one here. Now, you'll notice that the new image is generated by the cube average function. I'll go back to the cube example, and then for precision, you can also control the width and position of the line map sections through the menu options, cube display. And here we have the controls on the channels. For instance, I set the channel center frame to 1040 and with a width of one. And the left and right continuum to plus and minus 100. And each with a width of 30, like this. And as you can see, it says that the central wavelength is 1256.67 and the width is 0.09 and the left and right continuum values are plus or minus 14.5 with a width of 
This now shows the selected regions. You don't actually have to select the line map option. You just press the C key to select the central area and that will automatically set it into the correct mode. I'll just demonstrate that. Go back to buffer 1. I will right click and zoom out so we see the whole system. And I'll just do single. And here I can just press the C key and I'm in the correct mode. I want to change the left and right continuum a little bit. And there we are. That's all for this video. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel.